we're all aware that Earth is the only planet where humans and other animals can exist. The environment on this planet is so conducive that life in different forms can thrive here. Our ancestors have been living on the Earth, according to scientists at least, for millions of years. However, there are numerous mysterious and strange things that exist on our planet, but we haven't been successful in discovering them. There's a lot about life we have yet to find out. Some of these are pretty bizarre and unbelievable too. From the Mapimi Silent Zone to the Flame Waterfall, there's all sorts of inexplicable things out there you probably had no idea about. Today we'll tell you guys all about the strangest discoveries made by researchers around the world no one was supposed to see. So make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Mapimi Silent Zone In the Chihuahua Desert in northern Mexico, there is an exclusive zone where radio signals cannot pass through. It encompasses haywire whenever these are placed in the vicinity of the stones on the ground. The region is known as Mapimi Silent Zone. It's also called Mexico's Bermuda Triangle. Other names given to this strange place include Trino Vortex, the Silent Zone, or the Zona del Silencio. Besides the mysterious behavior of compasses and radio signals in this zone, it is also covered in mystery due to paranormal and extraterrestrial legends. The US Air Force carried out a training exercise here on 11th of July 1970. Meanwhile, they accidentally lost control of an antenna rocket which accidentally attacked Mexican airspace and finally landed in the desert region of Durango. The rocket was carrying two small containers of the radioactive element Cobalt-57. Authorities searched for the rocket and transported its wreckage in a small amount of contaminated topsoil. Consequent to the incident, wild rumors spread throughout the world. It was said that radios do not function inside the silent zone. Some theories also say that very tall people in silver bio suits live in this area. Some people believe that moving into this area will cause different mental problems for those who dare to move around. There had been some claims regarding the landing of UFOs in this area. Codex Gilgas The name Codex Gilgas means giant book. It's about 3 feet long and 620 pages. This giant book is the biggest medieval manuscript found in the world. No one is clear about its origin and purpose. It is completely handwritten and from its size it's quite clear that the author must have taken a long while to finish the manuscript. Experts believe that if a scribe worked on this book for six hours a day and wrote six days a week, it would have taken approximately five years to finish the book. But the legend goes that a monk wrote this book in a single night. Allegedly, the book was written when a monk struck a deal with the devil for escaping imprisonment and possible death. This theory has been further fueled by the horrific description of the devil in the book. Resultantly, it's also called the Devil's Bible. Beside its size, people have been baffled by its contents. It has magic formulas, complete spells, and some historical texts. Ancient Lovers Locked in an Embrace In 2014, archaeologists found these Neolithic-era lovers in a dig site in southern Greece which instantly caught the world's attention. The lovers were locked in an embrace, which is very rare for double burials. Carbon dating of their remains indicated that the specimen dates back to 3800 BC. It means that the couple has been locked in an embrace for more than 4,000 years. Experts think that the couple most likely died while holding each other. According to the estimates, they were in their 20s at the time of their death. 10 million year old teeth This tiny rock-like object has a strange shape because it's a very well-preserved tooth and was found in 2016 in Germany. It was unearthed in the prehistoric site of Eppelsheim in the vicinity of Frankfurt. The site is already famous for its primate fossils that have helped scientists study human evolution. During World War II, several bones were destroyed. After analyzing the tooth, experts have determined that it belonged to a primate who they believe existed between 9 and 10 million years ago, but it is incredibly well preserved. Its color is neither white nor yellowish. In fact, the incredibly long time it spent underground has turned amber. Ice Age Structure Made of Mammoth Bones People fond of traveling would have read several travel blogs and would be aware of many structures made of bones and human skeletons. Recently, archaeologists have discovered a mysterious Ice Age structure made from woolly mammoth bones in Russia, about 300 miles south of Moscow. Archaeologists were shocked by the discovery of this incredible structure, which they believe is approximately 25,000 years old and was made of around 60 woolly mammoth bones. It's about 40 feet wide and has several walls, fire pit areas for butchering and additional spaces for other tasks. 
Surprisingly, the structure existed in the Ice Age when the environment was extremely harsh. Scientists are baffled by the sheer number of bones used in the structure, as bone collection during that period required immense effort. Some people suggested that the structure was built as a site of the ritual. Oldest Chinese Sculpture in the World the oldest Chinese sculpture in the world is this simple and unbelievably tiny bird figurine, which looks like a weird-shaped stone unless you concentrate on signs of carving in the material. It's believed to be the oldest Chinese statue in the world. Initially, it was thrown out but later recovered from a heap of rubbish in Lingnan, China. It seems to be a stone, but it has been carved from blackened bones. Radiocarbon dating results have shown that the miniature bird figurine was created about 13,500 years ago. The tiny figurine has an incredible impact on the history of ancient Chinese civilization. It's evident that the figure was developed in isolation from the rest of the world, and it also highlights the origin of bird representation in Chinese art by about 8,000 years. Atacama Mummy Experts believe that the Atacama Mummy is a piece of evidence that aliens existed on our planet. Interestingly, there are a lot of people who think that the Atacama Mummy is of extraterrestrial origin. The only six inches long mummy possesses an elongated skull, sunken eye sockets, and a strange, tiny body. Its weird characteristics include hardened teeth and ten ribs instead of twelve. Its description matches our imagination of what an alien would look like. It was found in 2003 in a deserted town in the Atacama Desert in Chile. It drew the attention of people all over the world, and some believed that we'd found a solid piece of evidence which supported the idea that alien life existed on Earth. Researchers analyzed bone marrow cells from the skeleton of the mummy and ascertained that it is a human child who had multiple genetic mutations, resulting in a bone disorder, and the child might also have suffered from dwarfism and scoliosis. Crucified Man In 2007, while excavating a site in Cavello, about 60 miles away from Venice, a team of archaeologists found a nail hammered through a skeleton's heels. The skeleton is expected to be of a slave who died at the age of between 25 and 35 years. Researchers concluded that the man had led a tragic life as his bones were thin. It's speculated that he might have been imprisoned and chained to a wall for quite a long time. Ultimately, the man met the cruelest punishment of crucifixion. As per historians, crucifixion was usually awarded for the most serious crimes, such as rebellion and treason. Atlantis Atlantis has always been a puzzling mystery for scientists, archaeologists, and researchers all over the world. Atlantis is a place filled with riches, and it was first described 2,400 years ago by the renowned Greek philosopher Plato. He stated that the place had 10,000 chariots, a large number of elephants, a complex canal system, and above all, immense riches. He also said that Atlantis had fallen and been destroyed by the gods approximately 9,000 years ago in a catastrophic and cataclysmic event. Till date, no one knows about its location. Once an amateur scientist wrote that Atlantis was a reality, several people started to believe that somewhere a rich society was hidden. Subsequently, many people set out to find the location of this paradise on Earth. Some claimed to be successful. Numerous claims about the discovery of Atlantis have exasperated scientists. However, still no one has provided solid proof in support of this claim. People have claimed to find signs of this incredible society in Bolivia, the Caribbean, the Philippines, Antarctica, Germany, and many more. Debate on this issue is still raging. Medieval Grave Discovered by a Badger Badgers are digging mammals and have been the bane for farmers and gardeners as they consistently dig around and leave behind a mess. However, badgers played a key role in the mind-boggling discovery of a 12th-century burial ground of eight people in Germany. While two people were observing badgers dig in the area, they noticed something strange. On closer inspection, they discovered that it was a pelvic bone. They immediately contacted the local authorities and were surprised to find the burial ground of Slavic warlords. The badgers had helped archaeologists a lot, though inadvertently. They also uncovered a two-edged sword, a large bronze bowl, and some pieces of jewellery and accessories like a bronze belt buckle. Iceman This is the oldest preserved human ever found and is called Otzi, or Iceman. In 1991, two German hikers found the Otzi in the Alps of Italy. They found Otzi in an amazing condition that they thought it was the remains of a fellow hiker who died recently. Experts believe that the Otzi was a Neolithic man who was murdered almost more than 5,000 years ago on the mountains where he was naturally preserved or mummified. He was apparently in his 40s at the time of his death, 
and probably weighed only about 110 pounds and had attained the height of 5 feet and 3 inches. Researchers also discovered traces of stomach ulcers and arthritis, as well as Lyme disease in his remains. The immaculate condition of Otzi made the researchers conclude that Otzi was perhaps lactose intolerant in his life. It's also likely that Otzi had suffered in his last moments judging from the arrowhead embedded in his left shoulder and his other wounds. Hua Verde The town of Hua Verde was located in Brazil and it was inhabited by about 600 people. Allegedly, the inhabitants of the town vanished away without leaving any trace. It's puzzling that all 600 people disappeared at once. The legend regarding this town highlights that in February 1923, residents of a neighboring town observed that the shipment from the place never arrived. Therefore, they decided to personally visit Hua Verde and pick up the shipment from there. When they landed on the dock, they noticed an unusual silence and found the town deserted. They noticed that doors and windows of houses were left open as if people had left in an extreme hurry. They found a pistol in the town's school and also a sign with the words, There is no salvation. There are various theories explaining the sudden disappearance of residents of Hua Verde. Some people claim that a black hole transported the residents to some other dimension. Others opine they were kidnapped by the aliens. The reason is probably embedded in the history of Brazil. The inhabitants of the town were most likely evacuated by soldiers and revolutionaries. Still, the story of the town haunts those who know about it. Witch Bottle Workers were demolishing a pub in Watford, England. Suddenly, they found this terrifying witch bottle. Inside, they found human teeth, shards of glass, fish hooks, and an unidentified liquid. Strange thing is that a hundred of these witch bottles have been found in churchyards and riverbanks across Great Britain. This discovery is quite puzzling as the origin of these bottles dates back to the 1600s. At that time, the continent of Europe was tormented by major panic and thousands of women were murdered because of suspicion that they were witches. These bottles were hidden in houses and other places to ward off witches. The discovery of these talismans are quite dubious and sometimes they contain human bones, rusty nails and urine. Flannan Isle Lighthouse Presently, lighthouses are automated and they rarely need to be visited by a worker, but old lighthouses were maintained by lighthouse keepers who lived there. It was a gigantic task to live in the middle of an ocean where giant waves continuously crash against the structure of the lighthouse. Probably the lighthouse at Flannan Isle is one of the most famous lighthouses in the world due to the disappearance of three lighthouse keepers in 1900. The last entry of James Decatt, Thomas Marshall and Donald MacArthur was made on 15th of December 1900. Although more than 100 years have passed now, no one knows what happened to these lighthouse keepers. Some say they just fell into the ocean, where others think they were foreign spies who fled away. Others claim that they might have been eaten by a huge sea monster. Flame Waterfall Those interested to visit a flame waterfall should put on their hiking boots and set out for a hike in the Shale Creek Preserve in western New York to witness the Eternal Flame Falls. Contrary to the name of the fall, the fire of the Eternal Flame Falls extinguishes, but all you need is a match or a lighter and the flame will quickly ignite again. This tiny grotto is filled with natural gas that lights up once it's on fire. The flame is hidden under a magnificent waterfall. Humans from Egg Where have we come from? The evolution of humans may feel like a familiar tale, but there's a twist you likely don't know about. Some scientists believe that if it wasn't for a virus, humans would have come out of eggs. It's the retrovirus. Unlike most viruses which infect, replicate and then leave their host, retroviruses elbow their way into the host's genome where they are copied and passed on to daughter cells for the life of the host. This retrovirus, however, managed to sneak its way into one of our ancestors' sperm or egg cells, they claim, able to be passed on to every cell in every subsequent generation. Virus and host had become one. The viral DNA used its own genes to copy itself, inserting those copies elsewhere in the host's genome. These copies could be expressed in different parts of the body at different points in time, a symbiotic relationship that gave the shrew some extra raw materials with which to develop new functions. Viral proteins already have functions. It's much easier to borrow these than to evolve them from scratch, says Aris Katsourakis, an evolutionary biologist at the University of Oxford. It's believed by some that humankind might never have evolved to develop a placenta if not for a chance encounter with a retrovirus. Which one of these discoveries did you find most fascinating? 
Share your opinion in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. See you all next time.